Greetings, beloveds. Understand that the letters that have been put together to construct a word were done so, so that there is a formula, a numerical value that each word should create a certain frequency and a certain vibration. When you listen to certain music, it has an effect on you. Similarly, when you listen to certain words, the tone of voice that is used, the words as they are constructed. When Shakespeare wrote, he wrote in iambic pentameter, and there is a way in which the tonation of the words, the meaning of the words, each letter as it is constructed within a word creates a certain effect. So too does your mind with its thinking. When you begin to pay attention to what it is that you think, when you do not allow the mind to willy-nilly take you on its ride of thoughts that will bring forth terror and thoughts that will bring forth fear and things that will make you worry and have anxiety and stress and concern in your life, instead when you allow yourself to focus upon the words and the constructs that will bring about positive effects in your life, you will find that these letters that have been strung about to make these words, that have been strung about to make these statements, these thoughts and these beliefs within you will allow you to shift and change the frequency that you experience as your existence. And what this will allow you to do is to attune yourself to what are ultimately your desires to experience. Now, it does not mean that when you are allowing yourself to be terrorized by thoughts or feelings or emotions that you are not experiencing what you are meant to but it is truly the transformation of saying this is how i have been allowing existence to be for me and this is what i desire to experience and all it takes beloveds is a moment of breath and of consciousness to choose to think speak live and experience in a different fashion there is no longer the need to torture yourselves as you have. You can live on a frequency that is gentle, that is kind, that is caring, that is nurturing, that is loving. You can live on a frequency where there is always stress and strain and struggle. The choice, as always, is yours. It is done ever so gently. However, the missing ingredient is that it is done with assistance. Many of you believe that you must undergo this alone. You always have a companion. When you feel that you need to undergo this alone, understand that your silent companion is that of the egoic mind. And when you make the choice to not go this alone, but to consciously choose to have the assistance and the guidance of those of us who are here with you, you will find that you will have a profound altered experience of what you have known your existence to be. So we invite you to try us out. We invite you to be thankful. We invite you to have gratitude. We invite you to welcome us and see what it is like. See the stark contrast that you would experience as opposed to the places and the times when you feel that you are suffering and struggling. It is not necessary. It is always a choice. But for what is your divine birthright, allow yourself to remember. Our love is with you constantly. You could not get rid of us if you wanted. We invite you to welcome us openly, allow us to assist you so that you may then be of assistance to others. So blessings to you, precious and beloved ones. And indeed, we will speak with you again.